Welcome to the Crazy Time Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. And we got our special guest, the big man Lil Easy. What's up, y'all? Yep, still here with us this week. So, guys, uh, in Minnesota, a, uh, a state senator voted against a bill to provide free breakfast and lunch for school students. I heard about this. Because he said, and I quote, I have yet to meet a person in Minnesota that is hungry. I agree. And then he said, they don't have... I have yet to meet a person in Minnesota that says they don't have access to enough food to eat. Uh, now, you're... I should say that hunger is a relative term. I had a cereal bar for breakfast. I guess I'm hungry now. Uh, yeah. Coming from a goddamn politician talking about how he never met anyone who was hungry. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I've never met anybody hungry from Minnesota either. So, yeah, I guess I agree. <laughs> I've never met anybody from Minnesota. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably around there. My mom lives there, so I've met a lot of people from Minnesota. Oh, and she's probably been hungry a bunch, right? Yeah, I've talked to her. She's talked about her hunger a lot. Yeah, has she ever been like, yo, I'm hungry. We should go get something to eat? Yeah. No, uh, see, free lunch. If she would get free breakfast, <laughs> this would be solved. Why would why why is he trying to keep my mom from eating breakfast? You, for only 20 cents a day, can feed Jonas's mom. Go to our Patreon. <laughs> give us twenty cents a day. It comes out to about thirty three thousand dollars a month. <laughs> She's out here peckish, and you are sitting at home. She's out here sucking on stones in the driveway, trying to get some dirt. That's kind of a fucked up thing to say about your mom. <laughs> I can't help it. What can you say? <laughs> I, I've watched her do it for years. I can't help it. I'm not hurting her feelings. Oh wow. Yeah, uh, yeah, man. I don't know, man. Politicians can be wild. I've, I'm serious. I have, I've put some serious thought into this, into running for office. Oh, what kind? Um. Okay, so to run for president, I believe it's thirty five hundred dollars cash, or you need a petition with. Uh, I don't remember the exact number, but I want to say like five thousand signatures. I think you can get that. What the petition? Yeah, you go down to Sixth Street on a Friday. Sweet talk some of them ladies. I don't know, man. Give them that suave dynamite charm. I mean, listen. Depending on who shows up with you, some door knocking works too. Exactly. I'll go with you. you. Know, no, no, no. That doesn't no. Work. You need yeah. a hot girl to with you? Exactly. A the hot one girl. time that happened to me, I listened to every single thing they said. Was she selling you candles? Really? No, they were talking about some electricity bill thing, and I don't really remember all of it. You're like, come on in, honey. I got to. I got to sit here and listen to you talk for a minute type deal. Like, it feels horrible you know, to say that now, yeah. but it happened. So. <laughs> Yo, I wonder how much I could get a girl from Divas. To come and parade around town with me, getting petitions. Oh, thirty with... bucks probably. That's insulting. And... <laughs> That's... A little bit. Oh wait, hold on, That's hold insulting. on. You know what they do there, and you're saying that. I don't that, know what you're talking that... about, man. I don't know shit. <laughs> That, that, I, don't that them, I don't even know what that place is. Hold, hold on. Paying them 30 bucks to go ask for signatures is insulting when they what? do what they do. What do they do? I don't know anything about this place. <laughs> I was just naming a random strip club in, in Texas. <laughs> I don't know about this particular one. You tell me. Yeah. <laughs> we on a podcast, sir. <laughs> Excuse me? You trying to imply us for criminal activity. I love criminal activity. No, seriously. But that I have thought about running for uh, for office. State feel, Senate? No, like I said, president. I, I feel like I I would. mean. But you, yeah, even. I'd like, vote for you. What do you think your odds even of president Senate, are? Senate. I mean, not very high. But you, you could be state Senate. Yeah, I was thought about that. I thought, dude, I thought that, that it might be nice to be able to make a difference like that, but I, but I hate like work politics at my real job. So like being in like real politics would be like the worst job in the world for me. I think it's when you come to the point in politics where a person will try to block an initiative or, or a plan of action that you have for the community, uh, for a petty reason. And you feel like you have to reciprocate. I feel like that's where the problem is. Really. I think the real problem is when they say, I donated $30,000 to your campaign. Why are you voting against something that hurts me? Ooh, that sucks too. Lobbyists. Lobbying. Yes. That is you. kind of the whole problem with everything. It's like, I donated $5 million to you. Aren't you going to vote for the thing that's going to help my business? 
Buying votes, bro. Super PACs. And then when you try to stand up for yourself, then they just don't give you any more money. Yep. And now your campaign is crippled. Yep. And then they talk about all your stuff that you have on your computer, and then you don't get voted in. <laughs> TNT Dynamite hates kids and old in. people. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? I said, like, what do you have on your computer that doesn't get you voted in <laughs> now? That's my question. No, they, they my... to look at my computer. <laughs> they, they start the smear campaign. They're like, TNT Dynamite hates kids and old people. And they're like, no, I don't. They're like, yes, you do. This time you smacked an old lady. You're like, I never hit Whoa. an old lady. Oh, well, that definitely has never happened. But they'll, t but they'll say it did. <laughs> That's so true. Yeah, they'll be like, remember when he smacked a woman? And you're like, I've never hit a woman in my whole life. And they're like, yep. And and just the implications alone is enough to just uh, totally tarnish my Yeah, my good luck proving persona. everyone wrong. Like, it's just, they just throw out slander against you, and then you got to defend yourself. You listen You listen to uh, to rap music at all? Yeah, yeah. The Lil Mosey, you familiar? I don't know that one. So. Don't know that one? He's a, a younger rapper. Is he newer? Uh, relatively. Okay. He was, uh, he was pretty big, uh, maybe like two, three years ago. Um, and he was on the uptrend, lots of music videos. And then a young lady came out and said that she, or he sexually harassed or sexually assaulted her. Essentially she said he raped her. Okay. Um, just recently came out is that that was not the case and that she was not being completely truthful about the situation and all the charges were dropped. And but was, now he's still... And I was just... And that's the thing. It's like it forever tarnishes your name. Uh, s similar thing with Kobe Bryant. People still bring that shit up with him. I mean, he did pay her, though. But if... You, listen. <laughs> you pay for it to go away. But what does she want from the beginning? I feel like if you... <sighs> to a certain extent, if you take the money, that's what you wanted. Because if you wanted justice, then that's what you wanted. If you take the oh, money, see, then that's I, what you I, I wanted. I see your point. Going like, there, yeah. okay. It's like you could have stood your ground and just said, no, I'm sending your ass to jail. Let's go to court. Exactly. If you want justice, that's what you want. If you want money, then that's what you want. Period. But Kobe that. also bought his wife a giant ass ring. Hey, if she wanted a ring, that's what she wants. If she wanted a husband that wasn't going to cheat on her occasionally, then. She wouldn't have got it with Kobe. That's what she wanted. <laughs> I mean, hey. God rest his soul. I mean, hey, man, we're not talking. We're talking about a dead man, but hey, still. Hey, look, like man, if you making millions, guess what? You get to do that. I'm sorry. What bang other girls? Yes, I yes. Saw a comedian talk. Yes. I don't remember his name, but I saw a comedian talk about this once. He said, "You know, you cheat on me, and you're a billionaire. I'll stay at home, cook you dinner, meet the dude at the door, invite him in. Yep. <laughs> like <laughs> billion with a B." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, billion you can't leave beat? me for nothing. No, 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 no. I'm gonna so be wait, best okay, friends with your with your side dude. With my cuck? It's you not a cuck, cuck, it's not a cuck if you know. It's not a cuck if you know. You're not a cuck if you know. Then you oh, then you're just no, an open relationship. That one, that's an open relationship. Know. You're poly. I think that's the way it goes. Is it? Yeah. I think that's the terminology that they use nowadays. But the horns of the cuck hold were originally for a husband that didn't realize that he was being cheated on by his wife and he wore the horns of the cuckold, which everybody else could see, but he didn't even know uh, he had them on. Okay. But nowadays, it's just a guy who nowadays likes to watch. a dude that likes to watch. Yeah. yeah he likes yeah. to watch his wife get bowled out. Yeah. But yeah, so yeah, I guess, yeah, he, yeah, you are a cuck then. Man. One of my favorite new profane words too, by the way. Cuck? Yeah, we've cuck. been cucking it up on the podcast for years. Cuck, cuck, and bussy are like my two favorite. I've, I've talked about you're, you're, bussy before. Your new, your new, not just just the the ussy ending to any random no, word. Like, no. It be killing me no. online. Like, you know, but you know what's really awesome is we've been doing this for a very long time. We've been doing this for years, and it just became popular. What did you send me a fucking picture of clownussy or something? I, I sent him a picture of clussy. Clussy. Yeah, dude. Yeah, but you can add it to anything, man. He knows. You can add it to anything. Yeah, yeah I love man. that. Random shape tree. Trussy. Trussy. Yeah. Oh, you're going to have some trussy? <laughs> My might just. Yeah, yeah little, little, They add it to uh, everything now. Yeah, and yeah. Every time I see it, it kills There's me. There's a cactus every out there. You want some cactusy? Cactusy, maybe? Cactusy? Mm. Cactusy. You Hollow gotta, it out, little you gotta, spiny. You gotta say that but one. Does like, it have that cactus juice from the last Airbender? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on a you second. When they bring that cactus juice from oh the last my. Airbender and get just high out their minds? <laughs> you were doing peyote in the last. Yeah. 
in Avatar. Oh my god, I gotta start watching that show. I've never seen it. I've never seen you, it. You, you hit you. That's, you that's hit horrible. Get, get on this. I might have to. Tell I'm me about the last movie, time though, you did peyote. The, the live action, because that wasn't it. Nah. When was the last time you did peyote? Never. Never. I've had options to. I would. Kind of grows man. out there in New Mexico. Peyote it's sounds very scary. Easy to find. Yeah. But yeah. it sounds like a terrifying trip. It does. I would. I'd be nervous to do it at like Burning Man or something. That's just too much, man. If it, you're yeah, already yeah. like it's all. It's already like you're like in an apocalypse. I hear it's really chill though. I hear it's really Burning chill. Man or uh, Cactus Trips. Burning Man. Yeah, I've heard burns are chill, man. Would you go to Burning Man? I'll try it out. Would you go to Burning Man? Uh, That's a no. I'm, no I'm, way. I'd, be, oh, I'd be burnt to a crisp at the end of day one, but oh, I would good. go try it out. Sunscreen only helps so much when you're as pale as I am. But. I would have definitely <laughs> went when I was younger. I don't know if I'd go now. No. But I mean, I, like, I, I don't I know if I need to party for like four days in the desert right now. Yeah, I feel you. But I think it would be fun. I consider going. I'd have to do like glamping style with a whole camper to go chill. Yes, in. definitely. But then you have to like rent a camper because I ain't. You got to rent like an RV space no, and all that's that fair. shit. Like I would do that rather than yeah. in some just random pitch tent. a tent in the desert. I, I used to do the tents at the lake all the time. I can't sleep in a tent anymore. No. I wouldn't be able to get off the, off the ground when I woke nah. up. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we'd have to we have to rent a Winnie. Ooh, we'll, 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 we'll look into it. See Winnie Cooper? Yeah, exactly. Mm. Look into it. See how much it costs. I'll look into it's it. not cheap. Anyways, go to thecrazydown.com and that will show you how we do things for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we are out. And uh, the big man, Lil Easy. Oh, yeah, we out now, too. <laughs>